Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord God of heaven and earth. The God will hear us when we call. The God will help us when we fall. The glory and the lifter up of our heads. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be honored and adored. Awesome God, marvelous Jehovah. We give you all the praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you are worthy. Father, you are mighty. Father, you are excellent. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. From generation to generation, you remain, God. Father, thank you. I thank you, Lord. I bless and adore you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name for he has done great things he has done great things god has done great things he has done great things god has done great things he has done great things bless his holy name what a mighty god we said he is a mighty god what a mighty god we said hallelujah heaven and earth adore him even angels bow before him what a mighty god we said he is a mighty god what a mighty god we said hallelujah what a mighty god we said hallelujah heaven and earth adore him even else bow before him what a mighty god we serve is the king of kings he is the lord of lords his name is jesus 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 lord of lords he is the soon coming king the god that never fails the god that never he is the Lord, strong and mighty. He is the Lord, mighty in battle. He is the God I hear when we call. He is the God I help when we fall. He is the glory and the lifter up of our heads. Lord, we worship you this hour. We glorify your holy and righteous name. You are God alone, yesterday, today, and forever. Father, thank you for being God in our lives. Thank you for hearing us when we call. Thank you for helping us when we fall. Thank you for, Lord, for doing to, for us what only you alone can do, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, for protecting us from all dangers and attacks of the wicked. Lord, we thank you for your provision, Lord. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that is speaking better things in our lives. We thank you, Holy Spirit divine, for sanctifying us, baptizing us afresh with the unction to function. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for comforting us on every side and helping us to know the Father the more. Hallelujah. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Unto you is the gathering of your people this hour. Holy Spirit, come in your fullness and power. Holy Spirit, come and take your place. Glorify the Father in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. 
Amen and amen. Once again, my beloved brothers and sisters, I welcome each and every one of us to the Watch and Pray Fellowship. I'm so sorry again that we had to come up uh, a little later than anticipated. Uh, as usual, we're supposed to have uh, been live uh, by 11.30 uh, today, 11.30 Central Time and 5.30 p.m. Uh, West African Time and uh, 12.30 p.m. Uh, uh, Eastern Time. But, um, you know, duty calls, we have... Uh, um, things that kind of shift our time away from 11.30 today. So today we had to take it up by 1 p.m. Central Time, and uh, that is 7 p.m. Uh, West African Time, and uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I thank the Lord for you for still, you know, sticking out there with us. God bless you real good. Hallelujah. So by the special grace of God today, we are taking on a new topic that says divine speed. Divine speed, part one. We're taking divine speed, part one. And we are entering it on the theme that says changing your destiny through prayers. Changing your destiny through prayers. There is nothing prayer cannot do. Like we know there's a saying that says, well, if there's a man that can pray, there is a God that can answer. According to... Um, one of our pastors online, uh, Pastor Sam, I, you know, indeed, if there's a man that can pray, there is a God that can answer. Hallelujah. I'm grateful to God for another time, another opportunity to learn his word. So we're taking our text today from uh, uh, 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41 through 46. 1 Kings chapter 18, Verse, verses 41 through 46, and I read, it said, And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Hallelujah. I thought somebody would say amen to that and just type an amen or just, you know, just give a shout of praise because God has promised us abundance of rain. Hallelujah. Our wasted years is about to be restored in this month of the Lord. Hallelujah. The month of April is the month, you know, that God has chosen to bring our blessings from the four corners of the world. Hallelujah. So verse 42 says, So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Camel, of Camel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go up again seven times. Seven times, 44 says, and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, go up, say unto Ahab, prepare thy chariot and get thee down that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. Hallelujah. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he gathered up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. We are talking about divine speed. When the hand of the Lord is upon you, what you could not achieve in many years, you can be achieved within a twinkle of an eye. Hallelujah. Elijah was running on his foot, but he outran an uh, Ahab that was on a camel, that was on a horseback. Can you imagine that? It's like somebody driving or riding a vehicle and somebody running on, on foot overtook the person that was driving or is driving in a vehicle. That could only be the supernatural power of God moving the person. So what are we talking about? We're talking about divine speed. And what is the definition of divine speed? We're going to define it as best as we could as per Christian 
perspective. We're talking about divine speed. In, in simple terms, it means having, having or receiving grace to outrun your peers or achieve a given goal in a specific time frame. Just like you see what happened to Elijah. The Bible made us to understand that, that Elijah, because the hand of God was upon him, he outran Ahab who was on a horse back. Hallelujah. So when the hand of God is upon you, he divinely speed you out, speed you up to where you should be. Hallelujah. So I'm coming here to tell you today that it doesn't matter where you are right now. It doesn't matter if your schoolmates, if your peers have gone ahead of you. Because the hand of God is coming upon you in this time and season, you will, out, you will outrun your peers in the mighty name of Jesus. When the hand of God is upon a man, the, man, the life of a man is transformed within a twinkle of an eye. Hallelujah. The life of of, uh, of uh, uh, Elijah was transformed within a twinkle of an eye. And by the divine speed of God, he was able to outrun Ahab. Hallelujah. It could also be, you know, termed, when we talk about divine speed, it could also be termed as be having sweatless effort. Sweatless effort. That's you accomplishing things without struggling for it. Hallelujah. God will just begin to allow you to be fulfilling your mandate without struggling for it. In your life, in your ministry, when the hand of God is upon you, you begin to experience accelerated blessings. Blessing, accelerated, accelerated miracle. Hallelujah. And in the name of Jesus, I stand to declare in the name that is above every other name that this month of your divine speed, hey, your little effort will yield great success for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your little effort will yield great success in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't ever think of taking the devil's shortcut. The devil have a shortcut. That is not what we are talking about. We are talking about when the hand of God is upon you to effortlessly get what you couldn't have gotten by your own power. Hallelujah. When you try to take a shortcut that the world give unto you, that is the devil's shortcut. You cannot do that. That is not divine speed. Ha -ha. And don't forget that when the devil give you something with the right hand, he will use the left to collect times two of what he has just given you. All we need is the hand of God upon our lives. When the hand of God is upon your life, everything will work out for you according to his plan and purpose for your life. You will have uh, 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 effortless uh, uh, blessing. You will have effortless miracles. The things that you think have lost in past years will just begin to fall and to begin to come back to you in good succession. Hallelujah. And that's when you look at the book of uh, jo Joel, the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25. The Lord told you and I, he said, don't worry about your yesterday. He said, because he will restore. He will restore back unto you those wasted years. The Lord say in the in this month of April, he will restore back unto you your wasted years. He will restore back unto you what the caterpillars of life had eaten out of your life. What the canker worms of life had destroyed out of your life. What the parma worms thought they have pulled out of your life. The Lord say he will restore them back unto you. Hallelujah. So put your trust in the Lord. Hope on the Lord. He will divinely take you to where you should be. Don't forget again, there's a song we used to sing in the Watch and Pray Fellowship. We say prayer is the key. Yes, prayer is the key. I know prayer is the master key. King Jesus started with prayer and he ended with prayer. Oh, prayer Prayer is the master key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and he ended with prayer. So if you want the divine speed of God, the hand of God to rest upon you for effortless success, effortless and limitless blessing, you have to do what? Be a prayerful child of God. Because by you like it or not, prayer serves as a dynamic force that propels you and I to towards excellence in life and 
it keep endowing us with that divine acceleration, with that divine speed that need to that we and you and I need to overcome every obstacle in life, to overcome every delay in life. Prayer propels you to be focused. Prayer propels you to stay trusted to the one who can give you that a divine accelerated miracle that you long for. But they that wait upon the Lord, says the word of God in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. He said, they that wait upon the Lord. He said, they shall mount up with wings as eagle. He said, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. What the word, what is the, you know, the word of God is yea and amen. The word of God changed not. The word of God standeth sure. Hallelujah. What are the key things that you should know as a child of God? What, what do you want God to do for you? You have to take it up to the Lord in prayer. And when you take it to the Lord in prayer, it helps you accelerate uh, the outcome of your prayers. Hallelujah. You might be saying, oh, we are already in the second quarter of the year and nothing is, has been achieved yet. Nothing is happening. Never lose focus, my, my brothers and my sisters. Don't lose focus on the one that you put your trust in. Have confidence in the Lord and he will surely grant you that divine speed. He will grant you good speed. Hallelujah. He will grant you good speed. Abraham prayed for his servant. He said, the Lord grant you good speed. God will grant you good speed. The Lord granted Elijah good speed. That God will do it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You remember the story of David in his days when David came back from war and all his belongings, his wife and children, everybody was taken captive by the enemy. They ran away with, the, with whatever they took. And you know what David did? The Bible did not tell us that David lost his focus. No. no, he did not lose his focus for one minute. Don't allow whatever you are going through to make you lose your focus. Rather, what helped David, the uh, prayer propelled David. The trust that he had on God propelled David to go unto God and ask him, my father, what should I do in this circumstance? I am tired of and I'm weary. I don't even know where to turn. And the Lord told him, because you came to me, I will give you direction. He said, do what? Pursue. He said, when you pursue, you will overtake and recover all. Hallelujah. In the time of your need, in the time of your going through, who do you look unto? The Bible said, look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. David looked unto God and he was not disappointed because the Lord gave him good speed. As he went ahead, behold, these people, they have taken his property, his family and everybody, and they have run away. But the Lord gave David good speed. Hallelujah. He pursued. The Bible says he recovered all. He overtook his enemy. That is good speed. When God give you good speed, when God give you divine speed, you begin to overtake the adversity or the plans of the wicked. Concerning your life, they plan it. They say, okay, it's going to take this, this way. But the Bible says, when God gives you divine speed, you will, though they are planning it in the north side, the Lord will take you over, take them through the south side. Hallelujah. <laughs> That is what the divine speed can do for you. God will make you overtake your enemies and recover all that they have stolen from you within a twinkle of an eye in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you effortless blessing. In this month of divine, uh, uh, divine speed, the Lord will speed up your miracle. The Lord will speed up your healing. The Lord will speed up your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. When we talk about speed, we're talking about divine divine acceleration. When God accelerates his blessing for your life, the world begin to share your testimony and begin to say, is that not the person I knew yesterday? Is that not Florence that we knew? That Florence that used to beg? That Florence that used to borrow, borrow? That Florence that, you know, that uh, uh, did not even have uh, 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 clothes to wear, that we used to dash our clothes to? Is that not the same Florence? Is that not the same Florence changing clothes anyhow? Hey, hallelujah. That is what divine speed can do for you. And people will begin to ask you, sister, brother, how did you do it? Divine speed will take you to where the enemy thought you cannot get to. Hallelujah. 
God will take you there within a twinkle of an eye. The Lord took David there. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, if you read verse 8 and 9, the Lord took Samuel there. The Bible, I mean Daniel, uh, uh, David, sorry. The Lord took David there. Hallelujah. When David inquired of the Lord, David did not allow what was happening around him to lose, make him lose his focus. He did not lose his focus in the one who knows the way through the wilderness. Hallelujah. That song writer says, my God knows the way through the wilderness. Eh? All I have to do is to follow him. My God knows the way through the wilderness. All we have to do is to follow him. Our God knows the way through the wilderness. All you and I have to do is to follow him. David understood that. And so he did not allow the voices of his, of his armies that were crying about their family. He did not allow the situation he met on ground to move his focus away from the Lord. The Lord told us that instead of him sitting down and crying and looking for who will pity him, instead of David sitting down and looking for who will tell him, hey, is it not this? Uh, why don't you just uh, 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 kill yourself? Because this is beyond you. You begin to complete, uh, contemplate suicide or begin to contemplate other things that did not bring glory to God, he was focused. He said, I will go to the one that can help me to overtake my enemies within a twinkle of an eye. And I tell you, the same day, the same day, even though these people have taken all these things and run away for maybe days, maybe weeks, but the same day, because the hand of God came upon David, hallelujah, as he inquired of the Lord, the Lord said, my son, pursue. My son, you will re you will overtake them because I am going ahead of you. When you allow God to go ahead of you, he will allow you by his mercy to recover all, to overtake the tricks of the enemies that thought they could use that to bring you down. He will make you overtake them and recover all. You recover your blessing. You recover your stolen virtue. You recover everything, your voice, your miracles, your blessing. Hallelujah. The favor of God for your life. Even your helpers that were turning their backs away from you. When the hand of God come upon you, divine speed, it will begin to energize and encourage your helpers from all walks of life to come and help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't forget, we're in the month of April. And I'm made to understand that the month of April, being the fourth month, stands for the four corners of the world. When the hand of God is upon you for divine acceleration, for divine speed, from the four corners of the world, blessing will begin to come. Hallelujah. And that's my belief, that this month, this month of divine speed, from the four corners of the world, the Lord will bring your testimony. The Lord will bring your healing. The Lord will raise you helper. The Lord will take you to where you, you should be, hallelujah, in life and in ministry, in the name of Jesus. The Lord will do what no man can do in your life, in your family, in my life and in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. How can you maintain your divine speed? How can you maintain divine speed? When God gives you divine speed, you need to maintain it. Otherwise, the devil, you know, he does not relent. He does not slack. He will come over and over again to keep trying his luck to see if you are slacking so that he can attack. And so for you to maintain your divine speed where God is taking you, what do you need to do? Repent and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That is number one repent from all atrocities, from all the things that you know your father in heaven does not like. Repent from it. Repent from your sin. Cry out like David cry, uh, uh, cried out and say, create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew the right spirit within me. Ask the Lord to show you mercy. If you have not accepted him into your life as your Lord and Savior, it is the right time to do so in order for you to maintain the divine speed of God that God God is taking this uh, time of the uh, of, of the year to bring your miracle, your accelerated testimony to you. It is your due season. And in your due season, you receive divine speed to get to where, <laughs> where in, in your life that is taking people, so that places that is taking people one year, 10 years to get. 
within a twinkle of an eye, the Lord will take you there because it's your season and it's your time. Hallelujah. But you have to do what? You have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you have done so, but you know that one way or the other, you are falling short of his glory. Repent of your sins. He say, as many that come to him, he will in no wise cast away. He will not cast you away. He will help you. He will heal you. He will deliver you and he will bring your miracles to you speedily. Go to God with all you Humility. Apostle Paul told us, uh, 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 Apostle James, I mean to say, James told us in the book of James chapter 4 verse 6, the Bible says that God resisted the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Hallelujah. When you humble yourself before the Lord, the Lord gives grace to you. You want to maintain divine acceleration? You have to go to God with all humility and tell God, this is me. I humble myself before you. I Take your place in my life. I surrender it all unto you. David surrendered all unto God and God did not disappoint him. God gave him accelerated breakthrough. He was able to pursue his enemies, overtake them and recover all. That is what the Lord himself can do and will do in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Divine speed. Divine speed. Hallelujah. Pride. The Bible says, go ahead before a fall. According to Pro Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Do not be prideful before the king of kings. He loves you and he has told us this month he will bring you divine speed. Divine speed in that area of your life where you need him speedily. In your health, in that area that, you know, are you addicted? And you cannot do away with it just because you cannot help yourself. The Lord say, give it to me. I will bear it. Leave it to me. I will take it from you. I am giving you divine speed to recover all that the enemy have stolen from your life. Hallelujah. We're talking about divine speed. When God gives you divine speed, you outrun your enemies. When God gives you divine speed, even though your pairs have gone ahead of you, the Lord will begin to take you there. You begin to overcome them. You begin to see yourself doing things. Hallelujah. Things that ordinarily you couldn't have done. You begin to achieve things effortlessly. That is what divine speed of God does. You saw it in Elijah. When Elijah, the Bible says the hand of God came upon Elijah and he outran that man that was on a horse. Ahab was on a horse, but he outran him. When the hand of God is upon you for divine speed, divine acceleration, you outrun your pairs. May the Lord continue to bless you and keep you and bless the work of your hands in this time that you have decided to connect to the throne of God's mercy, the one that can give you and I divine acceleration in every aspect of our lives, divine speed in your healing, in your uh, relationship with him, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days, for your word. We are going to take some few prayer points right now. I hope you are inviting somebody. Please invite somebody, share, share, share. And I know as many that share, the Lord will bless. The Lord will, you know, honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Share, share, share. Help propagate the word of God. Let somebody know that it is not too late. It's never late with the Lord. God is never late in his promise towards his children. He said he will bless you. He said in blessing, he will bless you. And he will bless you. The only way you will not receive this divine speed of God's blessing is if you are not connected to the source. He say, I am the vine, here are the branches. Are you connected to the, to the source, to the vine? Connect to him and you will enjoy divine acceleration. Hallelujah. God bless you, child of God. We are going into a little bit of prayers right now and as you invite others and, and the Lord will continue to bless you because he said, if I be lifted up from the head, I will draw men unto myself. If you lift up the name of the Lord by sharing the word of God, aha, the Lord say he will bless you. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless you. I want you to begin to appreciate 
appreciate the king of kings right now begin to tell him thank you for the word that he has sent uh, the bible say he sent his word and his word came forth and healed all our disease hallelujah begin to talk to the lord say lord i thank you for the entrance of your word your word is yea your word is amen your word never fails your word never ceases to come to pass uh, daddy you are the god that did it for elijah that elijah outrun ahab who was on a horse uh, father i thank you for divine speed in my life divine healing divine acceleration lord i thank you because uh, my time has come to move forward my time has come lord uh, for my miracles for my helpers uh, to rise from the four corners of the world to help me lord i thank you because your hand is upon me to move forward and backwards never blessed be your holy name in jesus name we have prayed amen and amen i want you to talk to god again uh, and say my father my maker if there be anything in my life uh, that will not allow your hand to come upon me for good uh, i ask that the blood of the resurrected lamb of god uh, begin to purge me begin to cleanse me the bible says in isaiah 118 he said come and i will reason with you he said though your sins be as scarlet uh, i'll make them as white as snow though they be as crimson i'll make them as white as wool the word of god is still standing it is yea and amen you have come to the lord at the sound of my voice uh, talk to the lord and say father though my sins be as scarlet uh, make them as white as snow though they be as crimson lord uh, make them as white as wool before you so that the lord will hear you as you talk to god this hour the lord can hear you the bible says eyes are pure and cannot behold the iniquities of men if there is there's anything in our lives uh, that will not allow the holy spirit to minister to your needs uh, in the name of jesus we ask for the blood of jesus to purge us we ask for the blood of jesus to cleanse us in the name of jesus thank you father for the blood in jesus name we have prayed amen and amen you are going to lift up your voice again and you are going to say my father my maker give me wings to fly i need your help for speed and progress in the work of my hands lord i need your help for speed and progress in my ministry lord in my academics lord i need your help we need the help of god say lord mount me up with wings as eagles help me to soar high lord this is my time this is my season the lord say it's our due season and because it's your due season to be blessed it's your due season to be honored it's your due season to move forward and possess your possessions say lord mount me up with wings as eagles to possess my possessions in the land of the living father mount me up with with wings as eagle oh empower me lord for progress empower me lord for for, for greatness empower me lord for moving forward lord Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. I want to encourage us again on this mountain. We just lead each other to pray. Hallelujah. The Lord said, whatever the two of us will agree as touching anything, he will do it for us. So what we do here is to say, you know, uh, agree in place of prayer. That's why I give the prayer point and ask you to pray it for yourself because God is your father and he loves to hear your voice. Hallelujah. You want to cry out to him again and say, my father, my maker, I pray that you grant me accelerated speed, divine speed, divine progress, divine speed by the power of the Holy Ghost in my endeavors. I don't know the area that you want God to intervene. I don't know the area of your life that you need speedy recovery, that you need God to step in and give speedy intervention. Oh, divine intervention. Father, this morning or this afternoon or evening, wherever, oh Lord, your children are hearing the sound of my voice from. My Father, my Savior, we ask that you grant us, oh Lord, uh, speed in every area of our lives. Uh, speed in the work of our hands. Uh, be speed, oh Lord, uh, in our marital endeavors, oh Lord. Uh, uh, grant us speed over our children, Lord. Uh, let our children recover. Whatever the enemies have stolen from the lives of your children, whatever the enemies have stolen from your own life, uh, let there be speed recovery in the name of jesus amen and amen 
The word of God tells us uh, in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, the word of God says uh, that the Lord will restore whatever the canker worms, the palmer worms, uh, and the caterpillars of life has eaten out of your life. Uh, because this month uh, is the month of divine speed. Uh, and don't forget, uh, the, the month of April stands uh, for, the, for the number four. And the number four represents the four corners of the earth. Hallelujah. We are going to ask the Lord uh, to restore back unto you whatever the enemies have stolen, whatever they have hidden from you to come to you, wherever it is. Uh, God say he wants to restore it. Begin to call your restoration from the four corners of the world. Uh, the month of April must bring you the long-awaited miracle, your long-awaited testimony. The month of April must bring it to you. The month of April must bless your life. The month of April must lift you up. Uh, the month of April is the month of your moving forward. One. Say, Lord, from the four corners of the earth, because April is the number four, and the number four stands for the four corners of the world, the four corners of the earth. I call forth my restoration. I call forth your restoration, even from the four corners of the world. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever was holding your miracle bound by the authority in the name of Jesus, we call it forth right now. We call it forth right now. Divine speed by the divine hand of God, we command our accelerated breakthrough to be restored in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pray that prayer again. I don't know if some of us understand that what Joel chapter 2 verse 25 stands for. I don't know what the enemies have eaten out of your marriage. I don't know what they have eaten out of the lives of your children. That children that you love so much when you gave birth to them, you look at them and you look at God and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for giving me a replica of me. I thank you for giving me opportunity to have a man to take care of. But today you are, you are regretting telling yourself, I don't think that's my child. Oh, what has come over my child? This is the time to pray. Whatever the enemies have stolen from the life of your children must be restored back by the divine hand of God. In the name of Jesus, you are going to talk to God again. You are going to say, my father, my maker, grant speed and restore by your divine speed. Restore all the wasted years. Every wasted years, whatever the locusts have eaten, whatever the canker worms have eaten, in the name that is above every other name. Father, restore, restore restore in the name of Jesus I hope you are praying child of God let the Lord restore whatever the enemies have stolen in your life in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Father we thank you for divine restoration glory be to your holy name Lord in Jesus name we have prayed amen and amen hallelujah Please don't stop this prayer here. You know, you can always go back and listen to these prayers and pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Pray for your marriages. Pray for the work of your hands. The enemies are not relenting. Why should you sleep, child of God? Don't sleep. Focus your attention on God. Remember our case study today, David. David did not allow the world to distract him. He looked unto God. The Bible says he inquired from the Lord. What should I do, my Lord? And the Lord told him, he said, pursue. You will pursue them. You will overtake them. And you will recover all. And I'm telling you, child of God, in agreement with you, by the unction of God upon my life, uh, as you have come to inquire of the Lord, uh, you will overtake your enemies. Uh, you will recover all that they have stolen. In in the name of Jesus, because the word of God says that God will restore all that the canker worms, all that the palmer worms had eaten out of your lives in the name of Jesus. The word of God is yea and amen in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Two more prayers and we round up. You are going to say, my father, my father. Oh, my Lord and my Savior. You are going to say, Father, inspire me. Inspire me, oh Lord, to know you better. Inspire me to know you better. Inspire me to serve you better. This is the time to draw closer to God. The Lord said, draw nigh to me and I will draw nigh to you. Ah, draw nigh to me, I will draw nigh to you. It is the month of your divine acceleration. You 
need to have a connection with your maker. Say, Father, I don't have power of my own. I confess to you, Lord. Draw me closer to you. Never let me go, Lord. Help me, oh Lord, to know you better. Help me to serve you better. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pray this one prayer. This one prayer. I want you to pray for your bloodline. Every battle that we are going through comes from your bloodline. It comes from either your ancestors, your foundation, every faultiness in your foundation. You are going to say, my father, my savior, every faultiness in my bloodline that is trailing my life, that is trying to hinder the power of God from moving in my life. Uh, father, let the blood of Jesus flush it out. Let the blood of Jesus flush my bloodline of every iniquity, of every setback, of every citadel of wickedness that is trailing the life of my children from my bloodline every bad thing that the enemies is bringing back into your life into the your family or into your marriage or into your children's life as a result of your bloodline let the blood of jesus flush them out let the blood of jesus give you victory over them in the name of jesus thank you ancient of days for the power in the cleansing blood of the lamb in jesus name we have prayed amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus oh you're gonna tell the lord finally say father open my eyes to recognize uh, and see the people that you have put in my life to help me oh open my eyes to see where opportunities are open my eyes to see where the droughts of my helpers are located oh jesus i need you lord i need you to connect me to my helpers i need you to divinely lead me to where oh lord i will find help in that area of my life that i need you i don't know the area that you need the lord but ask the lord to lead you to the area where you can find help ask the lord to help you to the area or to the people that can help you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus if you have a file somewhere you have a file that you are trusting god for you know you're trusting god to uh, uh, for for your file to be taken care of i'm sorry my my phone is uh is kind of acting up uh there is a file you have a file somewhere do you know that the enemy can block the eyes of those that should attend to your file and then they will keep postponing the atten attending to your file so you want to talk to god and say father open the eyes of my helpers to locate my file and begin to attend to my file by your divine unction, by your divine speed. Let that project, oh Lord Jesus, be accomplished right now. Let my papers be brought out from where it was hiding to the front where my helpers will see and help me. In the name of Jesus, I touch and agree with you that it is settled in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the lives of your children. I thank you because you are God alone. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the power of your word, divine speed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the month of April, the month where you have chosen to bring out divinely by your divine speed, bring our miracles from the four corners of the world. Daddy, we thank you. We thank you for moving us forward. We thank you for doing what only you will do. We thank you for blessing us and our families. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Evermore, help us, Lord. That even as you tarry your coming, we will not lose focus of heaven. We will not lose focus of you, Lord. We will continue to look unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith, until our, our long-awaited miracle is brought to us by your divine speed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days, for hearing us again this morning. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you, child of God, for joining us again today to pray. We do this by the grace of God. Uh, if nothing come up every Saturday by 11.30 a.m. Central Time and uh, 5.30 p.m. West African Time and uh, 11, I mean, yeah, uh, 12.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. 
please join us next Saturday as Christ tarries and spare our lives. As we treat, you know, we continue to talk about the divine speed that God gives his children. We just saw the case study of David, how God gave David accelerated miracle, divine speed to recover all that his enemies stole from him. Next week, by the grace of God, we're going to be taking our case study for the life from the life of Joseph, and we're going to be seeing what God did for them. So just to build up our faith in the Lord, please let's join together and pray together. The Lord will hear you and me. We will not pray in vain. We will not seek the Lord amiss in the name of Jesus. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel and for those of our, our members on Facebook, God bless you real good. Please don't forget to propagate the gospel by sharing the word. God will honor you. No one ever walk for God and go empty handed. You will not go empty handed. You will be rewarded. God bless you real good. I'll see you next Saturday by the grace of God. And I pray that God will grant you a peaceful and fulfilled weekend. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jesus.